Well, the noise is deafening. The excitement is tangible. The tension is evident among the faces of everyone who is watching. The steamy-eyed look of the City players as they went into the top. A sign, as Pep Guardiola said in his press conference yesterday, they are totally and utterly focused on one thing, and that is regaining the title. City are closing in on Arsenal and they've got the ball in the final third with Gundogan and wide it goes to Mares on the right hand side. Mares steps in, keeps on holding to the ball. He's looking for the cross towards Haaland. Haaland reaches it right across the face of the goal. Not sure if he was trying to score or lay it back to a colleague, but it's the first time Haaland's got in. And uh, well, it was a, a tester for Arsenal, but no save needed from Ramsdale. Zinchenko plays it forward, City should win this one badly, don't they? And now Arsenal have it into the final third, and they've just got a man over on the left-hand side. The ball is delivered, and Ake's there with a the header, but Arsenal pick it up again through Martinelli, and the ball is now in the possession of Zinchenko, and the header from Unketia is wide. It was a clear opening, he got beyond the markers, and to be absolutely honest with you, he should have scored. was included even though Ben White had been an ever-present it's because he is a little bit more dynamic a little quicker oh and that's a terrible back pass and City will score and it's incredible I was just praising Tomiyasu he played an absolutely dreadful back pass and Kevin De Bruyne lobbed it over the advancing Ramsdale who was in no man's land and City lead by a goal to nil well, it had to be Kevin De Bruyne, yes, it was about the back pass, but the anticipation, as you just mentioned before, was Mahrez and De Bruyne weren't sure, but on this one, he goes all the way, hopes that the ball comes back, good pressure from Jack Grealish, but the finish, and it's agonisingly over Ramsdale, and it's just curling round, wondering, is it just going to sneak in the near post? And it does, it's a wonderful finish from De Bruyne. Ball is popped over to the left hand side. Walker comes across to meet Martinelli. Uh, sorry, Zinchenko, I beg your pardon. Zinchenko keeps hold of the ball, plays it across to Martinelli. Martinelli comes in field and plays it off to Jorginho. This is good. Odegaard, Saka, still Saka. City are going to keep him at bay. Oh, brilliant from Nathan Ake. If you're taught as a defender to not commit yourself to a challenge, to stay upright as long as possible, and then you do what Nathan Ake just did there, you have followed the instruction manual to the letter. Ake in the left-back position, and he's given the ball away. Picked up by Unketia. Unketia on towards Zinchenko. Good tackle by Rodri. Ball goes out wide to Unketia. City win it back though. Rodri tries to poke it forward and he loses it. And there's Shaka on the ball. He plays it into the gap towards Unketia. And Everson comes out and it's off the line by Ake. And has he crossed the line? Oh, he's given a penalty. He's given a penalty. What's well, he this is going to be interesting. For? He's given this an Arsenal penalty. This is going to be so penalty. interesting. I'm not sure what he's... I must admit, I'm not sure what he's given it for. He's given a penalty to Arsenal. I'm not totally sure what it's for. The ball comes in from Unketia. And then... Well, he thinks Edison's caught him, but he couldn't do anything about it. Well, that is an extraordinary call. But uh, it's a penalty, and Edison will now try and keep City in front. Kayo Saka up against Edison, huge penalty, huge moments in the season. Saka, well, there's a delay. Now the referee says you can take it. Now he blows his whistle. Saka to try and make it 1-1, and he's done it. He sent Edison the wrong way, and Arsenal are level, and it was a very, very controversial call, so much so that I admit it. I have no idea what he'd given it for. It was for Edison colliding with Anketia, and from the spot, Saka's equalised, and it's Arsenal 1, City 1.
what it is now is a free kick to City for a foul on Haaland by Saliba. It's not in a shooting position, it's a decent delivery cleared by Tomiyasu and the header against the bar. Rodri Stoops headed it and it hits the bar. Well, he scored the winning goal, of course, when these two sides last met at the Emirates. And he very nearly did there. Actually, it popped off Ake as well. It was just a... Well, it wasn't really a chance. He kind of was almost on his knees as he headed it. Now then, what's happened there? What's Oh, he's given a penalty! There's a tangle between Haaland and Gabriel, and it's one of those where it could go either way, and the referee says it's a penalty. City now have a penalty. Both of them wrestling each other, and the referee believes that it was Gabriel who was more the offender than Haaland. Oh, no. The only thing is, I think Haaland's oh, no. offside. I think Haaland's offside. Oh, no. I don't think it's a penalty. I think VAR will intervene, and it will be offside in the left-back position. So I wonder if he'll also remove the yellow card off Gabriel. I think he probably will. Offside. Offside. It is offside. Lines come across now. It is offside, yeah. That was my feeling all along. That was my feeling the moment I saw the replay from the 18-yard line. The Arsenal fans are celebrating. Of course they are. Rodri facing his own goal goes to Akanji and Diaz and on to Walker. Heads it into the gap for De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva. Try to poke it through the legs. Now he gets it back. Plays it forward. Haaland's on the chase. Haaland towards the edge of the area. In towards Gundogan. And now Grealish! 2-1 City! Beautifully worked! One side of the pitch to the other! He goes over to the City fans! Oh, I thought he was going to take his shirt off! I was screaming, don't do it! You'll get booked and sent off! He doesn't! He celebrates! 2-1 City! Fantastic move from City! I said it was their chance, it was their opportunity! Look at Gundogan as Jack Wheeler stepped forward and wondering... Can he get that finish? Is he going to go across the goalkeeper? He was composed, he waits. Maybe a slight bit of luck as he just bobs over Ramsdale, but wonderful as he celebrates into the far corner with those City fans. Brilliant return from City, wonderful goal. And that's what, exactly what City needed. in the left-back position, helps it on to Granit Xhaka, back to Gabriel, forward it goes, good tackle by Walker, wins it back well, now Rodri in central midfield, gets away from Granit Xhaka, plays it to Gundogan, Gundogan has options, on it goes to De Bruyne, cross the face of the goal, and Erling Haaland, Erling Haaland, 3-1 City, assist from De Bruyne, goal from Erling Haaland, Arsenal 1, City 3, there's and the top of the table beckons! Another fantastic goal, the celebrations are incredible. It's about the runs, tight areas, thread of the pass, De Bruyne, a fantastic, wonderful touch from Haaland just to guide the ball into the far corner. I thought he could have went across the base, but only Kevin De Bruyne pulls that back. Great touch. Goal number 32 of the season for Erling Haaland. Wonderful shot from the TV monitor of Mikel Arteta as the ball hit the back of the net. He turned away and stamped his foot on the floor because he knows two goals might surely be enough to win it. City might try and get a fourth. Bowden's in the penalty area. In fact, he's just looking to eat time off the clock, and he's won a corner. The 95th minute is about to be completed. Five minutes have gone up on the fourth official's board, and that is all we're going to play. Well, if ever anyone doubted the credentials of City, if anybody ever had any questions to ask them about their personality, all those questions were answered tonight. The Blues have shown why they are the defending champions.